Taipei, Taiwan is modern, it's cultural, historical, food, fun, and more. Check out these 8 plus 3 awesome things to see and do in Taipei. When you come to Taipei, you've got to see Diwa Street. Diwa Street is super cool. It's been around since the 1850s. Still a very important center of commerce here in Taipei City. Over three billion US dollars worth of transactions happens here. They still trade tea here, fabrics. There's all kinds of cool upscale stores like gift stores, tailors, and cafes and restaurants. Two weeks before Chinese New Year, Diwa Street becomes a huge outdoor market selling all kinds of New Year snacks and treats. It's absolutely amazing place to come, but any time of year, it's very cool to hang out on Diwa Street in Taipei City. This section here I totally love because it's like you've been sent back in a time machine. Except for the new cars. This is Dongmen or Yongkan Street, very famous food street in Taipei, home to Din Tai Fong. This is a restaurant everybody wants to come to when they come to Taipei. Very famous dumpling restaurant that has locations around the world now. Oh my god, there's not even a lineup right now. Let's go inside. Let's try the Xiaolong Bao. So good. By the way, this place just around the corner from Din Tai Fung, also excellent. Dongmen has been an affluent neighborhood since the Japanese era here in Taipei. So how about dessert? Mango Ice, a Taiwan classic. Gotta have that when you're here. Try mango ice, Taiwan classic. Delicious. No, this is not the National Palace Museum. I'm at Shilin MRT stop where they have a display of items inside, which is about all I can show you because they won't let me in with this camera. This is the National Palace Museum in Taipei, Taiwan, and it's considered one of the greatest museums in the world. Inside the museum, you'll find ancient artifacts, jade, porcelain, calligraphy, all kinds of amazing pieces, many that were taken from the Forbidden City in the 1940s when the Nationalist Party Guomontong fled China after losing the Civil War. Some call the National Palace Museum Asia's treasure chest. There's so much stuff that they have in their inventory, they can only display roughly 25% at any time in the museum.
Jimen or Jimending is another awesome site to see in Taipei. It's an entertainment district. There's over 6,000 vendors here, over 20 theaters, shopping, street performers, entertainment, concerts. Let's check out Jimending. It gets pretty crazy here, especially at night and on the weekends, but uh, Xi Mending's pretty cool because a lot of these streets are pedestrian only, but watch out for those motorbikes. All kinds of interesting cafes, restaurants, food stalls, including a place that serves food in toilets. Little plastic toilets, like curry, ice cream. I'm serious. This is Theater Street or Movie Street where you can see movies from Hollywood, Taiwan, other parts of Asia, and you can bring your own food and drink inside. Is that not cool or what? Uh, G-Mending is pretty cool too because it gives you a pretty good insight into the youth and pop culture of Taiwan. They have all kinds of trendy fashions here. Uh, Japanese clothing, toys, and yes, tattoo parlors too. I still get goosebumps every time I think about the first time I saw Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall and Liberty Square. It is absolutely one of the most spectacular places, not only in Taipei, but in Taiwan. The scale of this place is grand. There's traditional Chinese architecture and so much activity here. There's bands practicing right now, marching bands, military bands. It's absolutely a place you have to see and feel the energy of Taipei because it's right here. Chiang Kai-shek was the leader and dictator of Taiwan and the Republic of China from 1949 right up until his death in 1975. They completed the memorial forum here in 1980. Ironically, this is the same spot, and that's why it's called Liberty Square, where the first demonstrations that led to democracy in Taiwan took place here in the early 90s. Don't miss the change of honor guard every hour on the hour at Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. There's also a lowering of the flag ceremony that you can catch almost every day around 5.30. You can check out the history of Chiang Kai-shek in the museum dedicated to him that's on the lower level of the memorial, or you can just stroll around the plaza and the beautiful gardens that surround it. The twin theater and concert halls are absolutely stunning, classic Chinese architecture completed in 1987. Taipei is loaded with temples and shrines. It's really a spiritual city. But if you only have time to see one temple, see the Longshan Temple, as it's built in the classic Taiwanese style. As the Longshan Temple is built in the classic traditional Taiwanese style, there are three courtyards. The outer courtyard is like a transitional space with fountains and music playing. Inside, the two courtyards are where the main deities are held.
It's a Saturday, so it's really busy here at the Longshan Temple. This is the main courtyard where people come to pray and worship to Guanyin, the goddess of compassion. <laughs> The center courtyard of the temple where Guan Yin is is considered the Buddhist portion of the temple. This is the rear courtyard where there's 165 deities including Mazu, the goddess of the sea, one of the most important deities worshipped in Taiwan. So if you get claustrophobic or you don't like crowds, probably the night market's not the place for you. If you go to Dongmen though, you can still enjoy food on a food street, but not the uh, same kind of crowds. But if you really want to experience Taiwanese culture, you have to come to a night market and Xilin in Taipei is one of the best. Okay, you're in Taiwan, you're at a night market, Xilin night market, you've got to try a night market classic, stinky tofu, here I go. It's good. Well, of course, Taipei 101 is one of the top awesome sights to see in Taipei. It was the highest building in the world from 2004 to 2010. Try to go at sunset, catch the sunset and the lights of the city. This is the 91st floor of Taipei 101. This is the highest floor you can go to that's open to the public. And in a sec, you're gonna see amazing views of Taipei City and New Taipei City. And this is the 89th floor, the indoor observatory, and it can get a little noisy in here sometimes. I'm on the 88th floor of Taipei 101 where the giant mass damper is located. This is what keeps the building balanced during earthquakes and typhoons. One place that should really be on the main list but is a bonus pick is Beto Hot Springs District. 
This is about a 35 minute MRT ride from the center of Taipei City, but well worth it if you have the extra time. Behind me is the Beidou Hot Springs Museum, once the largest hot springs resort in East Asia. One of my bonus awesome sites I hope you have a chance to visit is the Songshan Cultural and Creative Park that's close to the Taipei City Hall MRT station. This place is loaded with atmosphere. It used to be a tobacco factory during the Japanese era. It's been converted into this amazing art space where international artists exhibit shows from time to time as well as local artists and designers. Another bonus awesome site to check out if you have the time and you're up for a little exercise, Zhenshan or Elephant Mountain. Easily accessible from the Zhenshan MRT stop. Let's do a hike. This is the main observation deck of Elephant Mountain and it gets really crowded here after 4 o'clock when all the photographers set up and get that iconic shot of Taipei 101 and the Taipei Basin. It's stunning. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up. If I missed one of your favorite places in Taipei, leave it in the comments and I'll try to get to it on a future video. I love Taipei. I know you will too. Thank you so much. See you soon. Shishé. Bye-bye.